All right, it's me again. Here's the second video for today. This is, I uh, wanted to show you the same idea, but this time using the 9750G2, Casio's uh, more inexpensive model. This is the one when parents call me up and say, I'm standing at the store looking at two calculators. One of them's 110, the other one's 45, 49, under 50 bucks. Which one should I get? This is what they're getting for under $50. So what I'm going to show you is what I just did on the Casio Prism. But this time I'm going to do this with the 9750G2 Conix, which is unique for a calculator at this price range. These menus look exactly the same as they do on the Prism. Casio did that on purpose, I think. Notice I also have the rectangular, polar, and parametric forms. So if you're doing more of the advanced stuff, this one will also do it. Let's see, we did ellipses that open, or hyperbolas, I did it again, but hyperbolas that open in the y direction, or in the x direction. Here we go. I think that one looked familiar. I think that was the one that I did on the prism. I don't have the modify feature. This calculator does not have that. That's an upgrade for the prism. You can also do the same thing on the 9860 which retails for under $75. And that one's even more powerful than this, but this one will do everything that Prism will do. Not quite everything, but pretty close. So there it is. There's my graph. I'm going to go to G-Solve. There's my focus button. There's one. There's the other. I cannot press Enter. I do, and I, I don't get anything. So this one has limited resolution. It's got the dots, like most other calculators. G solve again. I'm going to find those asymptotes. There they are with the slope of the asymptotes. Again, as soon as I hit G solve again, it's going to go away. I can find the eccentricity and the center. There's my center. Exit. You redraw that again. I'm going to G solve. I'm going to go over. Let's see, what else didn't I find? There's my eccentricity again my vertex, or my vertices. Here's one vertex, here's the other vertex. Show you some of the same things I did on the other calculator, on the prism. Show you the ellipse real quick, using that same idea. There it is. I can look at the view window, I've got the same settings. I'll go with the initial, which is going to make this ellipse look like an ellipse and not like a circle. There you go. Again, I can G-solve it. I can find the foci again. There's one. There's the other one. Even though it's not on the screen, again, as long as it's in the domain, it's going to find it. Very powerful feature for under $50 or right about $50. One more thing that I did on the PRISM video. There it is. There's my parabola opening up in the y direction. Focal length. I will redraw. I will do G solve again. Directrix. I will do focus. I will do vertex. Vertex. Again, these are single button pushes. I'm not doing too much heavy lifting on my part. This is the 9750 Casio. The 9860, which is the one that's a step up from here, does pretty much the same thing. You notice there's a dynamic grapher. If you saw the dynamic graphing video on CMath Run, there it is again. The graph screen, you saw that one. If you saw the stats, you've got it all on this calculator. This calculator retails for a little less, but if you want to spend a couple more dollars, which I would suggest going for it because the Prism does some amazing things with color. It does some amazing things with pictures. It does some amazing stuff, period. If you're a teacher, head out to NCTM, NCSM. Come out and see Casio at the Casio booth. I think they will definitely be there. I, I got a feeling this video or this calculator will be there along with the Prism. 
So check those out. Uh, we are on, well, I'm on CMath Run, YouTube, CMath Run, TeacherTube, and Twitter.